forth on that one. Dana Bash for us this morning. Thanks, Dana. Miles. Another front of the war on terror prompting some big concern in Washington as well. The Pentagon ordering a second airstrike in as many weeks aimed at suspected al-Qaeda terrorists doing business in Somalia. Could there be an escalation on this front as well? Barbara Starr at the Pentagon with more. Good morning, Barbara. Good morning, Miles. Well, consider this. Five warships and dozens of U.S. fighter aircraft off the coast of Somalia target al-Qaeda in East Africa. As Ethiopian troops leave Somalia and African peacekeepers have yet to arrive, there is growing concern a power vacuum is again emerging in a country that hasn't had a functioning government in years. And the worry is that al-Qaeda could fill the void. To keep that from happening, the U.S. is continuing airstrikes against al-Qaeda strongholds in southern Somalia. On Monday, a U.S. AC-130 gunship flying from Ethiopia attacked suspected al-Qaeda targets near the Kenyan border, the second U.S. airstrike this month. These are people who are responsible for the bombings of East African embassies in 1998, and perhaps even the USS Cole in 2000. They should not be able to get away with that. U.S. officials say the strike killed about half a dozen people. One mid-level al-Qaeda operative may have been taken into custody. So far, there is no indication that senior al-Qaeda members were killed. And like the strike earlier this month, a handful of U.S. personnel were on the ground afterwards collecting evidence, according to military officials. Although the Ethiopians drove out the Islamic militia running Somalia, East Africa remains in al-Qaeda's gun sites. In his latest message, Ayman al-Zawahi warned that Somalia is a definite disaster and threatened attacks. The U.S. military is keeping plenty of firepower in the region. Aircraft from five warships continue their patrols over Somalia looking for al-Qaeda. But what may worry the U.S. intelligence community the most right now is officials say they believe it is possible some of those top al-Qaeda operatives that had been hiding in Somalia for years may now have escaped and simply disappeared somewhere. Hmm. And they're apt to pop up somewhere eventually, but it's difficult tracing them, isn't it? Well, it really is. There's about three people, Miles, that the U.S. really wants. People who the U.S. believes were involved in the embassy bombings in East Africa in 1998, possibly involved in the bombing of the coal. These are senior al-Qaeda operatives, and that is really the goal of these airstrikes. And sources tell us expect to see more of them in the weeks ahead, more military action. Barbara Starr at the Pentagon. Thank you. Solid end.